Does it ever feel like all the color drained out of your world? You want to know what emptiness tastes like? A gray jelly bean. It seems like the rain never stops in this town. Here comes a ray of sunshine. Boy, it seems like the rain never stops in this town. You read my mind. In the detective business, they tell you to hang your hat on a hunch. But no one ever tells you to hang on for the loop. <sighs> what is that? Coffee. It's awful. name is Rick, but everyone I trust calls me Ricky. And that there is Jamie. We've been solving crimes together for as far back as I can remember. But this case we were working had us more stumped than a cut down tree. I asked around and people all over town can't quite put their finger on what they're feeling. I can relate. What is it I'm feeling? Is this bleak? A little gloomy? Maybe I'm just as baffled as a cat with a typewriter. Get this. Yesterday, Louis the mechanic told me that he hit his thumb with a hammer. A hammer? Ooh, I know Louie, but that man pretty angry. Nope. Enraged? Furious? Burned up? None of those. He shrugged it off, bottled it up, and kept going. <sighs> Louie, that ain't healthy. I got a hunch that if we find those missing emotions, we're gonna find out where the color went. Jamie, and a flock of birds, you're no goose. This if we didn't do something to help the town. Than... Oh, I'm sorry, I thought I was doing the oh, voice up. No. no, 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 I stepped on you, go ahead. No, 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 you go, you go. The missing emotions brought a world without color. If we didn't solve this quick, we'd be stuck like a frog glued to a wall. I am literally surrounded by emotions right now. Dread, surprise, Ooh, doubt, depression, tense, lonely, joy, and disgust. Now, I need your help with something. As these pictures come into focus, shout out what emotion is on display. What do you think about this one? Is she sad? Let me hear you. Maybe she's regretting something or feeling hurt. All right, next one, here it comes. What do you guys think? Is he stoked? Like, does he, did he just get the best news of his life? Probably not. <laughs> To me, he's looking uh, a little angry. Actually, just kidding, furious, like so upset. This dude is screaming at somebody. Next picture coming your way. What do you think? Can you be the first one to guess it? It's coming into focus and they look mad at each other. No, 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 no. I think like, oh, look at the eyes, look at the eyes. She's pretty excited. Maybe, maybe surprised? All right, we've got one more starting to come into focus. Can you tell what she is feeling? What's happening? Is she tired? Maybe bored? Confused? I don't know. You know, sometimes it can be a little bit hard to tell how we're feeling. Does it ever feel like your emotions have taken over your life? Do you go from lighthearted to aggravated in an instant? If you've ever wished you could have more control over your emotions, I've got some tips for you. First, I want to tell you a sad story with a happy ending. If you've ever wondered if God cares about your feelings or wants to help you make sense of them, listen to the story of Lazarus. Lazarus was really sick. His sisters Mary and Martha knew that he was dying. So they sent a message to their family friend, Jesus. They were hoping Jesus would come to their town and heal their brother. 
But that's not what happened. They actually watched Lazarus die. And they felt all the things that you would feel when life just hurts. When Jesus did finally arrive, his friend Lazarus had been dead for four days and everyone was in mourning. Mary couldn't even face Jesus, but Martha went out to meet him. And eyewitnesses tell us that she was full of emotions. She was angry, confused, and even hopeful as she talked with Jesus. And what did Jesus do? He comforted her. He spoke truth and reminded her that God was still in control. He didn't tell her not to feel what she was feeling. Then Mary went to Jesus. And as she revealed what she was feeling after losing her brother, Jesus himself was overcome with emotion. He was angry and troubled. And it says Jesus wept. He cried with them. After processing all of that, Jesus performs a great miracle to show what God is capable of. He went to the tomb of Lazarus and commanded Lazarus to come out. And Lazarus walks out of the tomb and is reunited with his sisters. And in that moment, people go from feeling angry and sad to being overjoyed in the presence of God's power. Can you imagine what they felt? This emotion-filled drama underlines two things that you can do when you're dealing with big feelings. Get it out and go to Jesus. Something I love is that no one in the story of Lazarus gets in trouble for saying what they feel. They're encouraged to get it out, even if it might be embarrassing. So they lament and they yell and they wrestle with how bad life can hurt. And Jesus also shows us his emotions. He demonstrates that God not only gave us emotions, but he also gave us the words to voice them. So that's tip number one. When your mood changes, when you're feeling something, find the words and get it out. You can ask yourself, what is it that I'm feeling right now? And maybe it's more than one word. It might be a mix of several different emotions. So it might be helpful for you to use an emotion chart to go beyond the words happy or sad, because all emotions have a range. For example, your anger can be really strong, which means you might be enraged. Or maybe you're simmering with a bit of a medium anger. Maybe you're feeling bugged or irritated, which is a light anger. So figure out where you are in the range. And if you wanna be in better control of your emotions, get it out. Follow the example we see in this story and learn how to say what you're feeling out loud. When it came to detecting emotions, Ricky and I were having a harder time than putting a suit on a porcupine. What's this? Let's use what we've got. I've assigned a list of emotions to each jelly bean flavor. What's the big idea dragging the magic glow box in here? I thought we could draw out the emotions into the open with a little acting out. Interesting proposal. We'll watch a scene we've never seen before, with the sound off, and you and I will provide the dramatic dialogue. Aces, I love it. That's not all. We'll assign an emotion to our characters by drawing a random jelly bean and providing the corresponding emotion. Cracker Jack idea. Ricky, in a barn full of ponies, you're the one that knows math. I got my jelly bean. This one's disgusted. I've got frightened. All right, roll that first clip. Tony, I have to be honest. I'm frightened when I ride in this car. Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry. It's just, it's a really bumpy ride. Well, now I'm even more afraid. Now I'm in a scary car and there's gonna be throw up in here with me. That's disgusting. There's nothing to be afraid of. You're gonna be okay. This car has lasted me for a very long time. I've gotta think of something to help me. I'm so frightened, I just have to do something. <sighs> I don't, no, I have a, I'm not looking at the road because the road is the thing that's making me sick. Can I think of something? I think I've thought of it. I know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to lean 
my head back. Oh, now I'm less frightened. Oh, oh no, the road's making me sick again. Okay, no, I'm just gonna keep looking at you. You look at the road. One of us has to look at the road. I'm, I'm looking at the sky. Uh, uh, look at the uh, sky. Uh, please look at the road. No, I can't do it. Oh, I'm thinking I'm gonna throw up. Cut the footage. <laughs> All right, now we're going to pick another emotion and see what we're going to emote. I've got relieved. I've got lonely. Roll the second clip. I don't know why I even bother. Da, 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 da. I'm so relieved. Oh, hey, I just, would you like to feel relieved with me? Oh my gosh, I I, I would love to. Like I, I've never met another person before, so you'd be my first friend. That this, sounds great. This is the, oh here, I'll teach you the relieved handshake. Oh, but first, oh. here's a relieving ball. Oh, that's cool. I've never ha seen a ball before because I'm so lonely. You can put it in your elbow like this. Oh, is that what balls are for? That's so cool. Maybe, did you know that I, I, if you rub your belly and pat your head that a friend will be nearby or far away? Uh, I don't know. Oh man, and maybe we could uh, oh, go here, over here. Oh here, let me teach you the relieved handshake. Oh, oh th that's doing the opposite. It's I, more like an arm oh, twist. Oh no, oh maybe I'm better uh, off alone. All right, time for the third clip. Let's pick our jelly beans, two or three. Okay. I've got nervous. And I've got ecstatic. And I've got shocked, confident, and furious. Confident, shocked, and furious. Let's roll that third clip. Grandpa, I'm really nervous about this cord I, back here. Well, this Meanwhile, is, I, I'm I, so excited I've about the electricity we're going times. to have. I've done this a million times. Don't worry, I've done this a million times. Don't even worry about it, okay? Hey, All right, Grandpa, I think I'm gonna try to look at it to make sure that everything's safe. Yeah, listen, it's safe. I've been around the block a time or two. Don't worry. Hey, kiddo. Hey, yeah, go ahead, just plug it in. Okay, Let's just Grandpa. see how it goes. Let's just see. Oh, oh, no. oh. oh my oh. goodness, I was ah. so excited about having electricity. I saw my entire life flash before my eyes. Oh no, Grandpa. I have so many library books overdue. Oh, my hand. I'm so oh. ecstatic about the oh, possibility oh. of electricity. I'm gonna oh. go dance around oh. off screen. Listen, listen, kiddo, listen, I need to sit you down. Kiddo, listen to me. Yes, Grandpa. Ooh, okay, here's what you gotta do. That, that you, When you plug it in, you gotta make sure that everything yes. is grounded, okay? Okay. All right, listen, what I need you to do, get me lots of water, okay? I am okay. dehydrated. Water oh. and electricity, I go, didn't think that they Go missed. down, grab that, a flamingo, and something else. I probably, a plank of wood, that should do it. We spent the afternoon eating jelly beans and yelling at the television like a couple of grandmas. <gasps> I've got it. This whole time, we've been thinking that the emotions disappeared and took the color with them. Precisely. But what if the emotions are still there, just under the surface? Waiting to be identified. Right under our noses. Jamie, in school of fishes, you're a teacher fish. How'd you crack it? Well, I couldn't help but notice that the more we got these emotions out, the more flavor there were for these jelly beans. The color we've been looking for has been here all along. All right, I promised two tips for helping you with your emotions. And to talk about the second tip, I want to point out something that might bug you about this story. The story of Lazarus has this awesome twist in the ending. The family member who died comes back from the dead and that is unheard of. That's what makes it a miracle. And while miracles still do happen, I'm sure you know that not all stories have a happy ending. What do you do when you've got feelings that seem bigger than what you know how to deal with? Well, once you've identified what you're feeling, go to Jesus. Remember, tip number one, get it out. Tip number two is go to Jesus. What does Martha do? She goes to Jesus with all her emotions. And Mary does the exact same thing. So if you're hurting, ask Jesus for comfort. If you're angry, ask for an outlet. If you're happy, say a prayer of thanks. In all your moods, go to Jesus. Why? Well, because he was human and felt the same emotions that you do. And because of his sacrifice, he knows that following God is always worth it, but it won't always feel good. There will be sacrifices and pain and loss because that's all part of living. There will be Martha moments where you lose something dear. Go to Jesus. Go to Jesus and he will comfort you. 
He will always meet you in your emotions and guide you to the mindful things that are excellent and praiseworthy. And one more thing, if you feel like your emotions are constantly far beyond your control, even when you've named them and prayed about them, it is okay to ask for help. Talk to a trusted adult and let them know that you need help with what you're feeling. When you feel what you feel, get it out and go to Jesus. And here's some great news. Your feelings change, but God never does. So name your feelings and your prayers to God and let the Holy Spirit guide you. I want you to know that no matter what you're feeling, you are never alone. So think about what you think about, and that includes how you're feeling. Get it out and share your emotions with Jesus and watch God color your world. In the book of Philippians chapter four, verse eight. Think about the things you think about. Finally, brothers and sisters, think about such things. Whatever is true, whatever is noble, Whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Think about the things you think about. Think about such things. Think about the things you think about. Whatever is right and pure, whatever is lovely and admirable, whatever is excellent, praiseworthy, think about such things. Think about the things you think about. Think about such things. Think about the things you think about. Think about such things. Finally, brothers and sisters, think about such things. Think about such things. And just like that, the color had returned. The drab days became vibrant as we continued to move forward. Who are you talking to? Hmm? Uh, uh, you could hear that? Yeah, you're narrating out loud again. Gosh, guess I was just saying dreaming. About jelly beans? And all of the feels. When you got big emotions, get it out and go to Jesus. He knows what you're going through. Until next time, enjoy, enjoy the ride. ride. Oh, hey, the rain stopped. It's been sunny all day. Are you sure you're feeling okay? I'm feeling peach keen, jelly bean. Jelly beans. If you're ever feeling disappointed or let down, check out our roller skating episode where we were painting while roller skating. I know that I was feeling a lot of emotions during that episode. I was feeling excited and a little bit nervous to be on some roller skates, but I guarantee that you are gonna be feeling happy watching it. That's a guarantee, or your money back. <laughs>